Hey everyone, welcome back to Playing Quietly. My name is Ryan, and today I am bringing you another Pal World video. Today we're going to be talking about setting up our third base, which is going to be our Pure Quartz Mining Base. Now, as you may have seen in a previous video of mine, my second base was previously set up as not only just an ore and coal mining outpost, but also a small factory. I have since come to the conclusion that that is a terrible way to do things, and it is far better to consolidate what your bases are doing. Now, by that I mean it is far more efficient to have a mining outpost for quartz and a mining outpost for coal. Make that the primary function of those bases. So let's so, take a look at the location that we are looking at today. In my opinion, this is going to be the best spot for your third base. I say that because there are a lot of nodes here, and there's also a lot of land that we have to work with. And we have enough room that we can build a really big building like this, just in case we wanted to get cute with it and make something that might be a little more useful. We see up on the rooftop here that we have way more than enough room to make a very large scale kind of uh, farming factory. So right about now, some of you are probably thinking to yourselves, Ryan, there is a whole other resource that you are not talking about here in the form of sulfur. And that is very true and for a specific reason that I haven't really brought it up and I haven't made a base around it yet. So let's first talk about the functions that quartz and sulfur are going to serve us. So we are back in my primary base here. And again, this is where I have kind of consolidated all of my production. We see we have our uh, breeding farm. We have our main pal farm. And we have a nice big vegetable garden over here. And then the factory is inside here. So let's take a look at what we are mostly going to be using quartz for. And that is going to come in the form of circuit boards. Circuit boards are going to be something that we are using a lot of in the late game. So we see here that we're going to need at least four pure quartz and a whole bunch of polymer to be making one circuit board. And if we take a look here, we open our build menu, uh, really any of these late game things are going to take a ton of circuit boards. So we see here that the just the electric heater alone is going to cost us 10 circuit boards. And then if we go to our production line here, the production, any of the second level production lines are also going to take 10 circuit boards a piece. And again, really any of these late game items that are going to make life a lot easier for us, tons and tons and tons of circuit board. So you are going to be needing a lot of pure quartz, which is why I think it is best to have an outpost that is dedicated to mining pure quartz. Mm. Now, all that being said, once you have all the stuff that you think you need in your main base, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to deconstruct or I guess decommission your quartz outpost and maybe move that to a sulfur outpost. However, let me show you a location that I think is really, really handy. All right, so the spot that we are going to be looking for is located right here, right next to this tower over here. So we're going to warp there and we're going to find that there is a ton of sulfur that is extremely close to a warp point. So now that the developers have changed it so that we can move when we are over encumbered, uh, this is a far more viable option to just farm a little bit of sulfur, go back to our base, dump it off, come back, mine a little bit more. It's really not that big a deal, and especially since sulfur is really only used to make gunpowder, which we do need for our weapons, but it is something that we need far, far less of. Uh, see, yeah, we only need the one sulfur to make one gunpowder. So 
the the rate at which we're going to be needing gunpowder it, it's just it's not really even comparable and again late game if you have all the electronic equipment that you want in your main base if you want to go set up a outpost for farming sulfur not a terrible idea at all but in the beginning of late game i would highly 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 recommend building pure quartz outposts instead so we already took a look at one pure quartz uh, mining location let's take a look at one more that i think is really really good and that is going to be located here on this hillside and that's going to be located right here on this hillside so we see it is definitely an interesting place to build a base um, i might even say that this is a little easier to defend however the area itself is not nearly as open and might be a little bit more difficult to build a structure around however that being said this is definitely an interesting area to me and i might do a video later uh showing some base building ideas for this spot but again i would say that this spot over here uh, we see the location is negative 257 395 i think this one is just a little bit better all right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, hopefully I have earned your subscription. Don't forget to check back for more PAL World videos. We're going to have some more interesting ones coming your way. Uh, something, I know one of the ones that I've been thinking about is building your base in some more interesting locations rather than maybe some of the more useful ones. Uh, some places to build some more interesting bases as well as some leveling tips not involving the changing of the default settings for those of you who are bothered by that. Uh, but until then, we will see you guys next time. Have yourselves a good one.